Okay, so we'll then go on to question five. Question five says that a graph has six vertices. Uh, labeled A to F, there are exactly two paths from A to F. The first path is A, B, C, F. The second path is A, D, E, F. All the edges in this graph can be found in either of these paths. Um, all right, so then let's see what the graph actually looks like then. So it says that there are two paths here, A to F. The first path is A, B, C, F. So from A, we go to B, we go to C, we go to F. The second path is A, D, E, F. So a path is like this. So A, B, C, F, A, D, E, F, right? So there are two paths here, from A to F. Now all the edges in this graph can be found in either of this path. That means there are no other edges. Everything that you see here is the whole graph. So then if you run topological sorting algorithm, what is the output topological ordering? Uh, in this case, we can run it, right? So first we form the adjacency list, A, B, C, D, E, F. A has edges to B and D, B to C, C to F. D to E, <coughs> E to F, F nothing, right? So then topological sorting, we build a stack. So A to B, B to C, C to F. So then F goes to the stack. F returns back to C, C goes to the stack, A returns back to B, B goes to the stack. Then A could still call on D, and then to E. So but E would visit F, which is already visited, so E returns, D returns, A returns. So you have A, D, E, B, C, F. So that is one topological ordering. Now, could there be more than one possible outputs? Now, could there be more than one here in this graph? There could be, right? There are many. So what would affect the output that we get? So what would output of if okay, what would affect the output that we get is the way that we construct the adjacency list, right? Because in this case, for example, we put B before D. So if we had put D before B, we would have gotten something different. So for example, if we put So if we put D before B, B will still connect to C, C will still connect to F, D will still connect to E, E will still connect to F, F to nothing. But in this case then, the stack will be different. So A will go on to D first, D will go on to E, E will go on to F, so F goes to the stack, and then E, and then D, and then it goes to B and C, so we have A, B, C, D, F, so it'll be a different one. Now, the algorithm that we learned in the slides is only one way to generate one topological sorting or topological ordering. There could be other ways to generate topological ordering as well. But uh, I think the idea here is that there are more than one in a graph most of the time. The only case, they are, they, they, most of the time there are more than one way to construct a topological ordering on a graph. And as long as it fulfills all those properties, uh, that it covers all the vertices, it visits everything once, and all the edges are pointing forward, then it's a valid topological order. All right? Any question here so far? So the topic of graphs, is rather straightforward, right? Well, as long as you understand what is DFS, BFS, how to construct a graph, how to do topological ordering, then it should be in, in good shape. Now, I think now is a little bit too early for the CA. So I think maybe instead what I will do is to cover a little bit of the lecture for the heuristics. 
uh, maybe another 20 minutes or so, then we will talk about the CA. And e, meaning that whether BC comes first or DE comes first, it doesn't matter to the topological ordering. It means that they are still going to be valid. So earlier, the graph that you get looks like this, right? So based on the graph, we know that uh, A must come first, right? F must come last. Uh, because everything is pointing to F, you have to do F first before you can do anything else, right? <coughs> so now, we also know that D must come before C, D must come before E. But between the B, C, and the D, E, it doesn't quite matter. So for example, you can have the following thing. So this is still a topological sorting. Now you can have somewhere where the E comes before BC. So this will still be a valid topological sorting. You can have a case where they are interleaving too. So for example, you can have A, B, D, C, E, F. So this is a topological ordering. Or you can have A, B, D, E, C, F is still topological ordering. So they are many, many possible ones, as long as you fulfill the criteria. Now, what are the criteria? Uh, you visit all. You're going to visit all the vertices once, and then all the edges point forward. So as long as you fulfill these two criteria, uh, you will get a valid topological ordering. The algorithm that uh, was specified in the slide, it will guarantee you that you will get one. Uh, but to generate more than one, then you need to employ other strategies. <coughs> 